Oh, bloody hell. How a five minute job can turn into a fucking all nighter. Got everything all back together, got the diff sorted, and we're just doing some final adjustments. There was a bit of an exhaust leak that it developed in the last day, and it was, I thought it was a gasket, and it was, and got all that sealed up, and was just going around and nipping the exhaust manifold studs, and one just come free. So, yeah, that pretty much means it had snapped off, so obviously gave it a few more tweaks, and on, on out she came. And here we are. I've got all the hot side off over here and assessing this now. So hopefully we can get this sorted. It's Wednesday night, it's like nine. Jesus Christ. It's like nine o'clock Wednesday night. Should be able to get this all off and get the stud tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be good. Mm. Cars. Cars, cars, cars. Anywho, I'll be right. Fuck you! Oh man, that's the best feeling. It's like 10 o'clock, still in work uniform. That's probably gonna be it for tonight, but we'll get another start and we'll get some more things tomorrow and we'll soldier on. All right, so update on uh, yesterday's slash last night's little mission uh, was just tightening the exhaust manifold studs. One come free, snapped, and now we have the turbo and everything off down here. We've got the manifold, baby turbo, associated parts, and uh, here we have our new pits. Very annoying exercise indeed, and hopefully we'll try a bit of this this time. I've never used it. Uh, I've read that people say you need to use it, uh, and a homie told me that. Make sure you put this on, so I was like, okay, okay, I'll actually do it this time. So hopefully this will stop the studs from snapping. Uh, yeah, I just want to get this on and all back together and not leaking, so then I can put the oil cooler on that I last minute ordered as well because oil temps are always getting hot and I was gonna run this little number, this little cheap Chinese guy here, but it did have a bit of metal through it. Uh, the last motor I ran this on ended up having the ground cam. Uh, it was this one here, so uh, there was no doubt little pieces of metal all through the oil. So without being 100% sure whether it's all gone or not, uh, you're better off to just throw it away. So, well, that's my thinking anyway. It's like, you know, 200 bucks for a new oil cooler. I mean, it's, I don't even know. I think this whole thing was like 10 grand or something for this whole setup, whatever. But anywho, so we've got a new one of them. I'm gonna get that all plumbed in and hopefully that's not leaking either. I'm sprouting a bloody pineapple here by the looks. Uh, and I'm just gonna get on into it.
right, so we've got that bloody thing sorted. Uh, which I'm pretty psyched about to be honest. I was dreading thinking that there was going to be another leak, but why would there be? It's got all the studs and everything's tightened up now. Uh, now I'm just going to try and uh, get this oil cooler fitted. And then hopefully that doesn't take too long and we should be looking pretty good. Sweet, so we got the uh, oil cooler all fitted up there. I'll get some light on it. Um, yeah, she's a pretty large, pretty large old girl. Went for a 25 row, which uh, was from uh, my measurements on the website to the space I had was going to work the best. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with how it's all sort of worked out, to be honest. I am running a Ching Chong uh, sandwich plate, which I was a little bit nervous about. I have seen before people say uh that they can recoil with they can recoil <laughs> they can wreak havoc with oil pressure but i just had it running for a split second there and uh everything seems to be good so fingers crossed that that's all good there's no leaks there's like a little bit of resi residue i think coming off the filter but i'd say that's just from having the filter off and then on again so uh yeah she's all looking pretty snazzy yeah, there's a tiny little bit coming off the bottom of the filter, but I can't tell if it's from uh, from a leak or if the oil that was just on it is getting warm and then uh, disappearing. Uh, she's looking pretty sick and it's all run nicely. I'll get some little AN line fittings thingamajigs in there and just plump up the catch can, take for a lap down the road before I put it on the trailer tomorrow. And yeah, hopefully she's good, but successful night all in all, really. Uh, I think it's take. I think I've been out here for about. Got home at like five thirty. It's now just knocking on nine. So, got all that back together. And fitted that up. So what's that? Call that three hours or so. Eight thirty, nine, nine-ish. So call it three hours of solid work. So I'm gonna go clean up, have a shower, but we'll uh, get you guys tomorrow. Radio. So we have her all loaded up, ready for the big day. Did manage to take it for a little drive down the road before I got her on the trailer. Uh, and she is giving a little bit of a misfire, which is really annoying. But it's not really a misfire, it's kind of just like a bit of a splutter. So hoping that it's just the plugs aren't gapped to what they were on the dyno uh, it was running mint i thought it was good i thought it would be sweet uh but apparently not so so hopefully i can get it to the track tomorrow and then just get them and it should be fine oil cooler sandwich plate is seeping the tiniest little bit so that's really annoying as well again all very minor things i just have to put that uh oil filter off and either try and Put some thread tape around one of the AN fittings that's sweeping, but otherwise, if it doesn't want to play ball, then I'm just going to take it off altogether and put the other sandwich plate on, and that'll be fine. I'll just get hot oil temp, so I just have to do cool down laps again. But ah, oh, what a stressful week it's been trying to get this thing bloody ready and all these other problems that have been popping up. Uh, but I'm fairly confident that it should be sorted. I've got spares of almost everything that went wrong last time. But that'll pretty much wrap it up for tonight anyway. Uh, and we shall see you at the track tomorrow. See you later.